Welcome to another installment of the E Academy dedicated to the Versa Plus control panel. In this installment, we will discuss how to configure the GSM module on the Versa Plus mainboard. This module supports two SIM cards. The second card can be treated as a spare one, which means that in the case of failure of the first SIM card operator, the control panel will switch to the other one. Such a solution ensures reliable and effective sending of notifications or events to the monitoring station. We also show you how to configure SMS notifications and demonstrate how it works in practice. What do we need for this? As in the previous installment, we will use the same set of Versa Plus control panel with transformer and battery, and the IMT TSG touchscreen pad. Additionally, a PC computer running Windows operating system and a mini USB cable two SIM cards and a phone that will be used to receive SMS messages from the control panel. Let's proceed to configure the GSM module now. The control panel is already running in service mode, so let's proceed to connect it to the computer. Start the DLoadX program. Connect the control panel to the computer with the mini USB cable. Accept the message about establishing the USB connection and read the data from the control panel. We continue configuration based on the control panel programmed in the previous installments, so all modules on the main board are already identified. In the structure slash hardware tab, select the Versa ETH module and go to the GSM tab. Very important, before inserting the SIM cards into the SIM card holders, you have to enter at least the pin codes, otherwise the card may be blocked. First, you must determine whether you want to use only one card or two. To do so, select the appropriate options. We will use two SIM cards. Please note that the second SIM card can be treated as a spare one. In the SIM card configuration window, enter the PIN codes if required, And the SMS center numbers. Save the entered data by clicking right on the main menu bar of the program. Now let's go to the telephone notification. Enable telephone messaging by selecting this function and then enter the phone numbers to be notified. We will only enter one number but there are as many as eight phone numbers available. In the messaging type column, select the fourth function, that is SMS. OK, let's proceed to define the contents of SMSs for messaging. To do this, go to the SMS slash pager tab. Enter examples of messages for arming and alarm events. You can define up to 64 SMS messages. After entering them, go to the Events Assignment tab and then to Arming Partition 1. The default user in the Versa control panel is User 30. For this user, select the first phone or T1 as the number to be notified and assign it to the first message number in the Message Number column. The contents of this message will show up in the Message column. Now we go to the Zones tab where notification will be set for the Alarm from Zones. For the Alarm from Zone 1, select the first phone number to be notified or T1 and in the Message Number column assign it a second previously created message. And just as with the Arming, a prompt for the content of this message will appear in the Message column. Write everything to the control panel. Now we will show you how the SMS notification function works in practice. Arm the control panel from the keypad.
After a while, you will receive an SMS with the text armed. Violate the zone 1 to trigger the alarm. You will receive an Alarm Zone 1 SMS. In today's installment, we have shown you the basic functions of SMS messaging. In addition to the notification of alarms from zones, SMS notifications can be sent indicating troubles and tampering, the activation of individual outputs, and, what is particularly characteristic of the Versa control panels, the notification of arming or disarming partitions by individual users. For this installment, that's all regarding SMS messaging. In the next eAcademy installment, we will discuss how to operate the Versa Plus control panel using SMS SMS messages. We will also show you a trick of how to send USSD network codes, for example, to check the status of your service provider account. For more detailed information on the subject discussed in today's material, please follow the link under the video. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next installments of the eAcademy. See you next time.